I'm here with Richard Capps, our modelling trainer. Richard, can you tell us a bit about yourself and your background? Uh, yes, thanks, Taya. Um, yes, I've been uh, doing the training in modelling uh, with IFF now for about eight years, eight or nine years. Um, and we've developed uh, various courses in both project finance modelling, financial modelling using Excel and so on. Um, my background is I've, uh, I've worked uh, both in banking uh, for about 11 years and then as Chief Financial Officer uh, of a, a public company uh, before getting into uh, consulting and uh, training work. Um, I've undertaken uh, some consulting assignments of building some fairly substantial uh, financial models in both uh, the petrochemicals industry, power generation and uh, uh, LNG. How would you differentiate between the, t the two modelling courses? Well, we've designed it so that uh, one course is generic, uh, financial modelling using Excel. Uh, this course is designed for people who want to develop their Excel skills in a broad range of financial applications, um, financial credit analysis, valuation, um, you know, general analysis. Um, and it's, it's perfectly designed for people um, who, who are looking for something generic. The other course, which is uh, modelling in the power sector, is clearly designed for people who are either lending to or are employed within uh, power generation, power transmission or power distribution. Um, and you know, perhaps I know what your next question is going to be, what is the content of that course so people can get a feel for it. Um, but uh, clearly people, to determine which programme they should go on, it, it really is whether they want the specialism or whether they want something that is somewhat more generic. Can you tell us a bit more about the content of the Power Modelling course and what it covers? Well, one of the benefits of doing a, a specialised modelling course is that we can go quite deep into the elements of uh, the financial modelling for power sector. Whether you're involved in uh, power generation, power transmission or, or power distribution, of course it's transferable. Uh, across those different specialisms, even within power. Uh, but the idea that we've developed with this course is that progressively throughout the three days, we add to a base power generation model. Um, we, we build the construction worksheet, we then build the operating worksheet, then the financing worksheet, and then the analysis worksheets that sit on top, whereby we can get control of sensitivities, scenarios and break-evens. Um, so at the end of the course, we've really explored all of the facets of a power generation model. But the method uh, is for each of the elements to first of all explain what the uh, limited recourse financing issues are in power generation, uh, then discuss how we're going to try and solve them in the model, in other words, design the worksheet, and then, in practice, uh, implement. Obviously, the course is very practical. What would you say the key sort of practical benefits that they go, go away with are? Well, quite apart from the uh, instruction on the programme, um, first of all, they get my email address uh, so that they can uh, follow up with any problems when they get back to the office. If they're trying to implement it and they get stuck, uh, I'll try and help them out. Uh, they get to take away uh, either a thumb drive or a CD-ROM uh, with a couple of hundred megabytes of materials, both reading materials and Excel files, and about 20 self-tuition practical exercises of building entire worksheets with instructions so that they can go away from the course and do some uh, self-tuition uh, at, at their own pace and at their own time.